Hello, and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur, and today we are going to be covering the basics of Genesis Part 1. Uh, I felt like when I first jumped onto this, there was not a lot of information out there, and I got very confused. Um, but as I continued to play it more and more, uh, I really started to understand what was happening, where it was going, and what was going on. So uh, let's go ahead and start covering some of the basics here for what we are looking at for Genesis 2. So first things first, let's talk about HLNA. HLNA is basically the basics of uh, Genesis 2, uh, and you have to understand that basically your transportation, your quests, everything are through uh, this robot that you're going to have a companion. When you spawn in for the first time, you don't, you get this uh, on the map. But uh, with that also, we need to talk about the different biomes, we need to talk about different dinosaurs that exist, and we need to talk about hexagons. In order to establish that, we're just going to jump into HLNA's menu here. So when we talk to her and hold E near her, you have four options on here. There's actually a fifth that comes up sometimes, which is say hello. Uh, when you say hello to HLNA, uh, basically she gives you an extra 3,000 hexagons. Really helpful, really nice, really exciting. But let's go ahead and talk about biomes first. Biomes, there are five biomes on the map. Each one is divided up into more sections that you can transport yourself into. Uh, this is the... Bog, volcanic, ocean, lunar, and arctic. The bog being the swamps where you can grab a lot of dinos. A lot of cool quests in there. Volcanic is the volcanic mountain where you grab metal, element, uh, and all kinds of fun new dinos that are on there. Uh, and there are a couple quests on there too for you to do. Ocean is where we're at now. This is where the ocean is. Obviously, you can get your water tames uh, and all kinds of things on there. Arctic is your ice, and lunar is a separate surface. So if you wanted to go ahead and transport to a location, you can click on it. So let's say we want to go to ocean. You are then given the options of north, northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest, uh, and so on that you can transport yourself to. This is a very slow transportation bubble. It takes a long time to click, but once you've selected one of these, you can go to a specific location to get there. Uh, what we are actually currently standing on right now is actually the teleportation point for Ocean's East. Um, and I stayed here because I wanted to show you guys a couple cool things that you can see from here. Uh, I wanted to do them from a distance, and then we will get closer to show those options. Uh, but... Going from each location to location, you can find a place to put a base. This base has to be in a location that is not a mission area. If it's in a mission area, you cannot build on it. And this is one of the problems with Genesis 1 that they said they are resolving in Genesis 2. But you find your non-mission area, you build your base, and you can have a blast on there and do all of your fun stuff that you're going to tame. All those tames that we're talking about, there's a new variant called X dash dinosaur so x parasaur or x rex or something of that nature um, not all dinos have this x variant but basically it gives you a 15 percent buff to your dino so i highly recommend getting those new x dinos uh, and getting them bred up so you can use them for the bosses uh, there are two bosses on here there are modar and the master controller master controller by completing it on alpha level you get an extra 15 levels on your character as a note however in order to open these up you need to do quests and you need to get hexagons so in order to check that out let's go ahead and jump back into hlna and we can see exchange hexagons i have currently 12,000 hexagons on me nothing too crazy but basically you can buy emotes you can buy resources you may need while you're in here all kinds of stuff to get yourself up and moving uh, and buying these plus on top of it you can buy random assessments of gear you can see those here that'll allow you to convert hexagons into it earning hexagons is through talking to hnla saying hello completing quests and closing rifts or disruptions or the word that you want to use within the genesis protocol mission one of those you can actually see directly here in front of us. Uh, you can see it up on that island, uh, and it is sitting there and doing that. And then we have a mission right here. So let's talk about these missions first. So missions, basically, you can go, you can see them. Um, this is a grabbing mission. The Each logo on here has a different thing. There's some where it's a battle royale uh, where you can't use dinos or any weapons. You have to use what's in there. There's some that you have to protect a dino, some you have to kill a specific dino, uh, and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So there's different missions, uh, and you need to complete these missions in order to have access to the bosses. Once you have access to the bosses, then you can go ahead 
uh, and do them and then you can complete them and get those extra levels and get all that element and all that good stuff. But you walk up to one of these terminals, you hold E on it and you have different choices. You have gamma, beta and alpha. To be clear though, gamma, beta, pretty easy. Gamma you can do solo, beta you should be able to if you've got decent dinos, if you can use dinos or if you have a good number of people on some of them that you can't use dinos, alpha is extremely hard and should be avoided in general, unless you're rolling about 10 deep with everything you can do. Um, they're very difficult, they are very hard, and they are not easy, just to be clear. Alpha is legitimately very hard on here, so as long as you're doing gamma, gamma and beta, should be fine to get those missions completed. So here we are at the... Uh, little temporal rifts that you have to close in here, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. It's a glitch. Uh, specifically what it's actually called. I call them all kinds of different things, but it's called different names. But you go ahead and hold E on it. H and LA goes up, and you get a 1,000 hexagons for grabbing that. And then she tells you about what the glitch was about and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it gives you a lot of lore within this. But this is one way to get those hexagons that you need to. So at this point, we've covered uh, hexagons, what they're used for, how you get them, uh, and specifically then we've covered X dinos and the different biomes. The last thing I want to show you is actually the quest menu itself. Um, just so you can see, you have this new thing called mission list. Uh, over here, you can see what you've completed, how many you've completed them overall, and how many are ready to go. On top of it, it tells you where to track the mission and where it's at. So you can see, as I said, on the side, there's different dinos. So like this one, uh, you have to track down a Moza and kill it. Uh, basically you remove it. That's what the dino with the two daggers into it is. This is go and grab something uh, very quickly. This is defend, uh, which is what it's got the shield on there. This is doing a quick escape after you grab something. So it's just going to get something coming back up. There's races that you have access to on here. Uh, and then of course there is uh, destroying uh, the bosses on here, which is also a mission within itself. Um, you can also complete all of the ocean glitches is an option, but each biome has its own thing and you can have a ton of fun doing that kind of stuff uh, just as an option for you. But you can see there's different biomes for different things you do. Um, and this is playing basketball, which is really cool on there. But overall, these are all the fun ideas that you have access to on here that you can do, including fishing, uh, and all those kind of fun things that you can do, and you can do them all on different levels in order to get there. They give you an idea of what the reward is on here, and then you can see the reward goes massively up the higher the difficulty, but as I said, the difficulty jumps. I think the jump from gamma to beta is pretty minimal, but from beta to alpha, it is completely bonkers, uh, and I highly recommend you be very, very careful with those. So... This is the menu that you want to get into. Uh, in order to get into though, you can see, I want to jump one really thing really quick. You can see one tough Modar, and you can see that they have a little bit of an asterisk next to it. Um, but you can go and to complete that one just fine on there. Uh, the one that we need to talk about is actually specifically down here. You can see where I've completed some of my bog beatdowns on here. Um, and those are the ones I was talking about where you don't have any dinos and you have to sit there and fight yourself. Uh, for the last moment on here, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and show you. So I said I was going to go in here and show you something. Um, however, um, I completely forgot that the fact of the matter is, is you don't get access to it until it opens. You can do Modar right away as long as you have the missions complete, which is three of the missions you need to complete. But in order to get to Master Controller, you have to open up a certain number of missions for each level. So in order to reach Master Controller Gamma, you need to have 58 missions completed. For Beta, 116 missions completed. And for Alpha, 168 missions completed. And there are 176, so you get to skip eight of them. So be very wise about the eight Alphas you're going to end up skipping. Uh, you will have to complete every single Gamma and Beta, uh, just so you know. And then on top of it, as I said, the Alphas, you're going to have to complete a lot of those. So make sure you get in there and complete them. Uh, one note is that's to summon the Dino. You can actually do any of them in order to do this. Uh, you can do any of your characters, I apologize, any of your characters within the tribe or someone can have 168 done. As long as they have them done, you can do that boss. Um, so it's going to be really crazy. Um, on top of it, then, you do need to do some code keys um, and all kinds of stuff. But that's a completely different conversation for a different video for it. But this is the overall understanding of Genesis uh, 
in a nutshell. Um, I hope this video gives you a hand on that journey, whether it's getting hexagons, understanding where to get from point A to point B, how to track quests, where to find them, how to do all that fun stuff so you can get those extra 15 levels and move on to the Crystal Isles and the progression standpoint of the game. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have anything to add, leave it down in the comments down below. But as always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.